What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello once again Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. Welcome back to another Monster Hobbies Model Car Unboxing video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 1995 AMT Ertl Valvoline Ford Thunderbird. So without further ado, uh, let's go down to the track and check out this amazing model car. And once again, it's time to hit the old NASCAR oval as we check out AMT Ertl's Valvoline Ford Thunderbird Skill Level 2 Model Kit. This is a 125th scale model kit with a photo of the actual car right on the box. On this side of the box, we get a wonderful write-up of our Valvoline Thunderbird. This is a Skill Level 2 model kit for ages 10 and up, has over 110 parts, and will require paint and glue. On this side of the box, we get some wonderful photographs of the Valvoline Thunderbird. It has authentic racing decals, complete racing suspension, a 358 cubic inch engine, and a completely detailed interior. Now let's just take the lid off this wonderful model and see what we got inside. Whoa, look at this, an old blue printer with the Mustang Street Freak on there. Who had that one? Let us know in the comments down below. So here we find out now that this is Mark Martin's Thunderbird and we get our instruction sheets and our decals which Danny the dog will go over in an upcoming segment. Now here's our NASCAR body and I do believe this is the early years of these little wing doors and things that opened up on the roof. So that's pretty cool that they're molded in. There's our chassis, our chassis. <laughs> anyway, look at this parts tree. You get some of those great components. Oh, there's a bit of flash on there. So we'll have to take care of that. Again, more of the great parts for our car. All that cool NASCAR stuff. There's our engine, and uh, here's our com remaining body components for this thing. And there's our clear parts, and then we've got a bag with chrome inside, so that always keeps that nice and protected. And then we've got our tires and our axle down below. Hello everybody, this is Danny the Dog, your dog on the street. And today we're looking at Mark Martin's Valvoline Thunderbird NASCAR kit. Now when we open up the instruction sheet a little bit, we can read this wonderful history all about Mark Martin and his amazing Thunderbird. And on this side of the sheet, we can also see the tools we're going to need and the tips for the advanced modeler and the before you begin to assemble, read this part of the instruction sheet. If you want to see a good video like that, check this one out scrolling here. Panel 1 shows our 358 cubic inch racing motor. How many of you have actually worked on one of these NASCAR motors? Let us know down in the comments below. So here we've got our right and left hand side engine with the transmission molded in the back, cylinder heads that drop in place as well as the valve covers and the breather cap. And then we've got our intake manifold and our four barrel big Holly carburetor. And then we've got our front cover going on here and our oil pan down below. Panel two shows our alternator belts and pulleys and the fan all gluing together. And then panel three, we add our air cleaner in place, our distributor, and the panel 2 assembly glues on the front. Then we've got our shift linkage going on the transmission and our two-piece exhaust headers. Now panel B shows our wheel assembly. Here we have the outer wheel going into these nice Goodyear racing slicks. And then on our inner wheel we also have a little axle pin. Make sure you do not glue that because uh, you want your wheels to rotate. And then in the rear we're doing pretty much the same thing. The outer wheel, our wonderful tires, and then the special inner wheel which goes in there. Our next panel shows the chassis assembly. We have a two-piece radiator gluing together and a two-piece shifter knob here. And then we've got our nice racing seat going on our chassis in panel three. Engine drops in, radiator duct goes in front, there's a transmission mount goes up underneath, and then our engine will hook in. And then we've got our radiator hoses going into the radiator and on top of the engine block. We got our firewall, our pedals, our seat, fuel cell, blower motor, fire extinguisher, and the shifter. All this goes onto our floor. In panel four, we see our roll cage going together. There's so many bars in here, it'll keep a good dog inside, keep him from falling out. We also have our racer's net on the one side, trunk crash bar, rear cage support, and then a little brace up here, center brace, the left and right hand side, the braces over the engine, and up in front. Again, a lot of braces. Now here we add in our oil compartment and our package shelf, top center brace and the top front brace, 
Our steering wheel goes on our steering column, which all hooks up into our two-piece dashboard and instrument panel. And then there's a forward cross member. This is really very much like the Pontiac NASCAR we reviewed a long time ago. Panel 6 continues with our chassis assembly with the lower front suspension. And then we've got our king pins left and right, front coil spring, upper A-arms down here. And then we've got our disc brakes and all that glues together. There's also a steering box and some front shocks which drop in from the top. This is upside down, by the way. And then our racing wheels go into the front. Now those are the ones with the pins. So again, just be careful how this all gets glued together. Panel seven and eight are showing the exhaust dumps going together here and our two piece rear axle getting glued together over here. In panel nine, we can see the exhaust dumps being put in place as well as our rear suspension frame. And then we've got our springs going in there. There's the differential from step seven with the metal axle going through. We also have our disc brakes, You've got to put one over here. And then we also have a rear oil pump and then a drive shaft going in place with the big loop in here. Safety loop, in case it breaks away. And then we've got our wheels going on and our shock absorbers as well as the rear subframe. So all this gets sandwiched down right in here onto the back of our chassis. Panel E shows our final assembly with our glass being glued in and then our hood. Now the glass looks like it comes from the outside in, not from the back coming out. We have our spoiler here and our trunk lid as well as our rear bumper and the rear view mirror glues up onto our uh, cage in here. And then all this would sandwich together. Panel two shows our fuel can being glued together. And then panel three, we get a hydraulic jack. Now these are some really cool accessories. And then this is something you really need is the clear vent tube and the fuel filler tube, which glues in from that uh, fuel filler hole and goes into the top of the tank. Now this panel here really takes up a lot of the instruction sheet and as you can see we've got our tires and how to paint them and then all the decal placements. So just uh, I'm going to back up a bit and you can just check this out. There's the uh, one for the hood and the number six and then our Cummings on the back here and the Valvoline decal. This is really good. So when I show you the de decals at the end of the video you're really going to love them. Thank you for watching this video up to this point. It really means a lot to us. And if you're enjoying these great model cars, we want to offer you a special promo code where you can save a little bit off your next purchase at www.monster-hobbies.ca. Just enter the promo code YouTube so that we know that you watched this video on this channel and then got interested enough in our model cars to maybe pick up a few. So that promo code once again is YouTube over at www.monster-hobbies.ca. Here we have our body for our Ford Thunderbird. And again, the sides are really smooth, just like the real NASCAR. That is so that you can put the decals on there and make it look nice. There's that fuel filler hole right there that Danny was talking about for hooking up those lines. Now we do have to remove this out of the trunk area and this bar out of the hood area. That's just so it wouldn't warp in the mold. Again, you can see those nice doors molded in place up top. They're actually like little wings that pop up. And then there's the front end looking every bit as good as a NASCAR front end always looks. There's a slot in there. That's interesting. So turning this over, there are some mold marks up into the roof area and a little bit under that uh, front cowl area. But overall, it looks really good. As you can see, though, there is quite a bit of flash. But overall, I think you'll have fun with this model. Here we have our chassis and look at all these nice big grooves on here. Now there's mold marks up top because this is molded upside down in the kit, but you should be able to get rid of those with some sandpaper. Turning this over, again, you can see the wonderful detail in here. All the ridges would make this uh, really a tough frame in here. And again, a really excellent high detail. If you've built this model, let us know down in the comments below just how you liked it and how well it went together. This parts tree includes our hood, our trunk lid, our spoiler, our bumper and the radiator, as well as the braces and the safety loop for the trans or for the uh, drive shaft there, and then the front intakes and our upper A arms. So again, really nice stuff. You've got the hood pins in there, four of them, and then one's on the trunk lid. Turning it over, mold marks, but you can see the nice bracing in there that AMT put in. Again, an electric fan on the back of our radiator. Really some excellent work here. 
and uh, well worth the purchase. This parts tree includes our wonderful 356 engine with all the intake manifolds and, and cylinder heads and flash, lots of flash. But uh, there's our exhaust manifolds, our two-piece rear axle, and our floor pedals, springs, racing steering wheel, and the disc brakes, as well as many braces and blowers and everything else. So again, the detail on here is really nicely done. Uh, only uh, downside is, of course, all the flash. Look at that nine bolt rear axle. I think that's the right thing. <laughs> and then we've got our disc brakes. Look at that steering wheel, the nice uh, padded center to it, just like real NASCAR. Turning it over again, maybe there's some old marks there. I'm not too sure. But overall, I think this is one of the better parts trees despite the flash. Now here's a parts tree that looks like it doesn't really have much flash. Ah! <laughs> Remember that video? Okay, but anyway, look at that nice cage in here, and there's our front floorboards, and again, the dashboard, and more of the uh, radiator. Maybe there's uh, two radiator options in here. i got to check that instruction sheet again as to which is which. I, I suppose that uh, this is actually a parts tree from maybe one of the other NAS cars that AMT Ertl is just reusing in here. There's the Ertl logo underneath there. I guess it used to say Deersville, Iowa, but they uh, kind of welded over the top of that, which is interesting. But at any rate, again, lots of nice detail, especially on that little uh, safety net and on our floorboards. Oh, there is some flash here. Ah! But overall, I think this is really wonderful again. Now here we have our fuel cell, and again, this looks really wonderful. There's more of our braces for our cage. The exhaust dumps our front seat. And uh, what else? The lower A arms for the front end. Again, really excellent work. Look at the detail on that seat. Again, looks like you could just sit on there and be so comfortable. Again, there's that fuel cell. Perfect for the 90s. Fire extinguisher even. And uh, again, on the back, not too bad. But watch out for the flash. Here's our next parts tree with our wheel backs and the remaining disc brakes. We also have a bunch of the suspension components that are all buried in flash. And we've also got that nice fuel filling uh, bottle there. I guess it's a gas tank. <laughs> and then there we go. Basically like a giant jerry can for racing. But overall, if you can clean up the flash, it will look really, really nice. So here we have our vent tube and fuel filler tube for Mark Martin's Valvoline Thunderbird as well as the front and rear windows and the side glass. So again, there is quite a bit of flash on here and it's always kind of difficult with the flash on the clear parts because it just wants to, well, basically shatter like glass. Now these NASCARs do not have red taillights in the back, but that's okay. I think this is enough glass for our racing needs. And here we have our chrome parts tree. I do believe this is also generic amongst the NASCAR kits. They all seem to have these same kind of wheels, as well as the jack and the air cleaner and the valve covers. Now, maybe correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, most of these are actually stripped of the chrome and painted body color or something like that. So, you know, on the box, it shows these as being painted black. Again, you, uh, you can easily strip the chrome with easy off oven cleaner and get it ready for that black paint job. And here we have these really wonderful Goodyear Blue Streak Racing Slicks. And again, these have appeared in many other AMT kits, but primarily the NASCARs. Now you can see this uh, great big ridge up the center and a web inside. You can easily cut the web out. Make sure you remove all the little posts before you put your wheels in. Then you can throw the entire tire in your tire spinner. Use a bit of sandpaper and spin this all off. Make them nice and worn looking. Hey everybody, it's Danny the dog again, your Perina pooch of the swimming pool. And what we have here is the decal sheet. Now you can see this is an older decal sheet. The backing paper is starting to go yellow. But we have these wonderful decals, the sponsorship ones. The Valvoline decals which go on the body. Good old number six and all this great stuff. There's even decals for putting on your tires. But uh, it's easier to actually paint those with the paintbrush. Again, the color registry is really great on this, so I hope these will come off nice and easy. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this great video where we got to see AMT Ertl's 1995 Valvoline Thunderbird NASCAR kit. If you've built this model in the past, please let us know in the comment section down below just how much you liked it. And if you enjoy watching these unboxing videos, tune in every Friday where we get to show you another great unboxing video. So until next time, everybody, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you in the NASCAR circuit.